For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome back to Tech Care KIT YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Ravi. In this video session, I'm going to see that the magic of screen command in Linux. So what the screen command will do, how the screen command can help you to run long running processes on the Linux. Right, let's see how you can use that and what is the uh, useful method you can use on that uh, screen command here. So let's say if I type the screen command, it says that the screen command is not found. To install, I uh, can just use uh, m install screen iPhone Y. So if you already have the m enabled, then it's going to install that um, screen command package, the screen package. So the screen command has been installed. Now you can see that, um, so the screen command can help you to run any long running processes or uh, actually open subshell on your screen. Then you can detach that screen and the job runs in the background. Example say, I wanted to run some backup uh, at the art sync one location to the another location. Then I cannot keep open my putty session. So if I close my putty session running the rsync and uh, that goes away. Like the rsync will be disconnected. Either if I am on VPN then I run the sync rsync then my VPN disconnects then my sync will be disconnected. So it will stop over there. But uh, without interrupting, without using your session so you can run the background session using the screen command. So how you can do that? Example say screen iPhone capital S and provide the session name, anything like what is the uh, job you are running. So if you have the lot of screens, you cannot understand what it is, what screen it is. So to name it so that easily identify, let's say I do the art sync uh, from local to AWS something like that. So this is my screen name so that I can easily identify that okay this is the async job which is running on that. So now it opens the subshell. You can see that it is changed the value from screen 0 here. If you see that the value has been changed from screen 0 root something like this. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to sync uh, do the arch sync. Right. I'm not sure our sync is installed here. Okay. Maybe I put something like a copy uh, from like slash etc folder. The entire folder I'm just dumping it to the slash tmp here. So while it is running on the background, what I can do is that press control A and T. So the screen has been detached. So now the background script keep on running. Then you can continue with the another session. But let's see how whether it is running or not. So you can just see screen iPhone LS. It will give you the list of screens which are running. You can see that which is actually de detached mode. So it is not attached to the any other screen. Now if you want to attach that, what you can do, you can just see screen iPhone R and provide this uh, the value of the screen and the session number. Now you can go into that session here. So this is the session you can reattach to the console. So now you can see the progress. Again, if you want to detach, press Control A, D, continuous uh, process, then it is detached. So now you can again go back and do the screen iPhone LS and screen iPhone R, how many times you want to reattach and uh, um, detach. So you can do that. Sometimes what happens, I have reattached my session and I have closed my putty. Right? Maybe I can open uh, duplicated session here for this and say now. So my session has been reopened. And if I type green iPhone LS, it says that it is already attached somewhere else. But this session has been disconnected, but it's showing as my session is still in attached mode. So what you can do that. So what you can do is that you can just do screen 
hyphen capital D and provide the session name. So it will be detached from anywhere else where you have attached. Then again, you can see that screen hyphen LS. So you can reattach the screen here. So it will provide you the same option here. You can see that. So that is the same session you got it here. You can just again press exit. It will close the session. If you press Ctrl A and D, it will uh, detach the session. So press exit. Now you can just go to screen F and LS. The screen is gone. So this way, so what you can do, you can just put it some sessions over there and um, you can attach and detach the screen whenever you want. Okay. If you want to kill that one so you can still uh, just reattach and uh, press exit then that session will be killed let's ex exit now the screen has been terminated so i hope this will be very very useful whenever you want to run any a long running jobs on the background jobs uh, anything the scripts backups or sync art sync so uh, or the backup commands something like that uh, or any software installations which take longer time uh, if your session is disconnected if you run into the screen still the screen will run in the background so it does not interrupt in the middle so that's way you will get benefited uh, by using anything which is important to run if you uh, do not you are not in a stable internet connection while connecting to the vpn or the server connection then use the screen so that will be safe place where you can run some commands and if you are suddenly your internet is disconnected but screen session will still running on the background it won't actually affect your job so that's the uh, the magic of screen command can do for you thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses do like button and subscribe the channel please follow us on social networking site uh, one is uh, facebook the facebook page name is uh, at linux arkit uh, you can click on this button here and click like page so that you can follow us on facebook the next one is instagram uh, instagram name page name is arkit.co.in click on follow button to follow me and uh, twitter if you have any questions on uh, subject line or if you have anything you can just with me at a Ravi Kumar 48 so I will reply you most on the tweet back for anything related if you want the latest articles on my website so here is my website details and email address details you can reach me over here